So not an update I really wanted to give, but it appears that I've chipped a bone in one of, one of my toes on my right foot. Basically, it's at least two weeks no running um, and does explain why it has been rather painful, including in the Western Six Fun Run League Seven Styles run when it was really painful. So it turns out that I was probably running that event with a chipped toe, so not ideal. Um, it does mean that sort of a couple of events have already been scuppered. So a 20 mile event at Bedford Grand Prix and the Solihull Half Marathon, I've already had to cancel those. Not ideal as I was going to use those as preparation um, events and get good, some good long mileage, but it is what it is. So for the time being, it's all about cross training as much as possible. Obviously that's limited as well because problem with your toes does make it rather painful and probably makes it worse in the sh sort of short term so just need to be sensible and I'll do what I can um, but the training plan will be reassessed as soon as I can get running again and then it may be an eight week um, I don't really want less than that because the ultra is it's going to be a tough one it's basically um, a thousand meters of elevation 53 54 kilometers something like that um, it's the elevation side that's the concern it's in the peaks um, I've not done anything quite like that very comfortable running the South Downs type of area where it's um, just a bit more rolling but the peaks are a uh, next level up so let's see how it goes but hopefully I can get a solid eight week training block in and no further problems with the toe keep everything crossed just not the toes so the frustrating element of it all really is the fact that I don't actually know how I did it. May have done it in Serpent Trail, um, or chipped it or cracked it or did something to it and then aggravated it last weekend, but guessing on that. So it is what it is. Um, if anybody has any hints and tips for how to quickly recover from a chipped bone in a toe, please let me know. And do like and subscribe and hopefully I'll get some more positive updates out in the near future.